Hi, I'm John Perry. We've had a above ground pool installed by the Little Pool Company and we're living on a slopey lock in Wanji Wanji, New South Wales. My problem that I had to face was that we had a development approval. Um, the house is being built and we didn't include the pool to be built by the builder at the time. So we had to search around for a builder um, or a, a company that would be happy to take on board a pool on a slope and block. And we found it very difficult up in this area to find a pool company that could build it in our, within our price bracket that we were hoping to have it built. Mate, there you go, mate. One, two. Good morning, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I'm uh, Matty Nordsvan um, from Little Pool Co, manufactured uh, by Compass Pools Australia. John spoke to Kelly Muir at Compass Pools, and after having discussions with him, um, realised that uh, the price range for their maxi rib technology was a little bit out of his ballpark, um, and uh, recommended and suggested that you know Compass have a sideline that it's a new, a new innovative business called Little Pool Co, um, which, which really suited him. Um, so that's how the introduction came about. What we liked about uh, Compass Pool, they were upfront with us about the costs involved in trying to put in a, on a, slope, a pool, or any pool on a sloping block. And during the conversation, they actually acknowledged to us that it probably isn't cost effective for you to even have one until we discovered that they actually had a little pool that was an above ground pool and it was a DIY project if we wanted to or we could go through with the company develop, putting it into the, into the space that we wanted. Um, the simplicity of it was very encouraging but at the same time we had apprehension that how many of these pools have, uh, had been actually constructed. I've worked in the pool industry on and off for 35 years. Um, I'd like to class myself as an expert in that area, but this is a new product, something that I was an unknown, not only to me, but to councils, to certifiers, to engineers. Um, people had known about a container, shipping container pool, you know, they were getting around on the block and better homes and gardens. And um, so uh, this was something that was a little bit different to those, similar but much different and in our eyes mine much more aesthetically pleasing. At that stage the word container was used um, which the council weren't very happy about but when we produced the brochure um, they didn't classify it as a container pool. They in, were receptive to the way the pool was um, showing on the brochure that it would be a solution to a lot of people that actually have a sloping block. So that was really um, the moment we realised that this is, this is an, an option that we now can have. It's, it's, it's very innovative, super lightweight and, and offers a great alternative to a container pool, a plunge pool or, or, or any in-ground application for that matter. I mean. Um, you know, it can be a freestanding pool, you can deck off it. There's, there's a lots of different variables and applications that can be, you know, um, integrated with a little pool, that's for sure. To me, the whole success of this pool was the first person who touched the ground. And that was Maddie, who came out and looked. And then, um, there, you know, there was, there was dialogue about what the slope how we could tackle the slope and then bringing the right sort of contractor on site to do that first cut. That's when I knew they know what they're doing. When I first came and looked at the site, I went, oh, holy dooly, look at this, 45 degree site, no, no access and this massive driveway. So the first concern I had was the distance that the pool had to be lifted. So it was, around, it was around about a 30 to 35 metre lift. Um, you know, we used a 55 tonne all-terrain crane and, and it went seamlessly. It was all, I mean, I mean, I've lifted lots of pools in my time in the pool industry, but um, 
So when you first looked at this job, you were, it may have seemed a bit daunting, but in actual fact, you know, everything did go pretty smoothly. I, I kept looking at all my trees and I kept thinking, how, are they, how many helicopters are they going to have to use? You know, so the person we were dealing with, Maddie, he, you know, he was able to explain to us exactly how, where the machine's going to go in the street and how they're going to get it in and which trees they're going to go over the top of. And, um, and, it, and it went to clockwork without any neighbours getting involved. <laughs> As you could imagine, I was very anxious <laughs> at the beginning. You know, like I, it was a new job, new, new, new product. I didn't know what to expect. Um, it's now been over a year, and I'm very confident with the team that I have around me, especially my builder. They do exceptional work, and uh, at the end of the day, that's what the customer wants. They want the confidence knowing that the, they're dealing with someone who's um, get get the result they want. Somebody has to buy the first electric car, so we. <laughs> We, f we feel we've bought a product that actually is new on the market and the council will, will justify that as well, just by the way in which they treated, we, treated me once I gave them the brochure. And on two occasions, when I went to the council about some of the extra information that they needed, they all wanted a brochure. <laughs> so I kept giving them a brochure and saying, go and photocopy it and get your head around it because it's quite likely if this is successful, particularly in places like on the, around the lake, etc. This is the type of pool that can be a great solution to not paying over $100,000 to try and get some pool in a retrofit of a, of, a, of a block of land.